Welcome to Wisdom from the Word. The Bible Fellowship Church is a family of believers who want to help others discover and strengthen their relationship with Jesus Christ. And we're praying this message helps you strengthen your walk with Him. Now let's dive in. Welcome, BFC family. I have the privilege of doing Wisdom from the Word for Thanksgiving weekend. That being the case, Kathleen suggested that maybe I should use Psalm 103. And after reviewing it, I had to agree with her very, very heartfully. Now, when I read this, um, instead of saying the Lord, you know, the Lord all in all caps, um, I'm going to say Jehovah. That was what was in the original text. Um, later, people decided that the name Jehovah or Yahweh was too holy to pronounce, uh, so they put the word Lord in there instead. Somehow I think that was counterproductive. How, how would you feel if your whole family decided to never speak your name again? Whenever they talked about you, they would just say, uh, well, you know who. I, I, I just, I can't go there. So bear with me. If you're reading along with me, you'll see the Lord whenever I use the word Jehovah here instead. Here we go. Bless Jehovah, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless Jehovah, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Jehovah executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. Jehovah is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so Jehovah pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of Jehovah is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. Skipping the verse 22. Bless Jehovah all his works in all places of his dominion, Bless Jehovah, O oh my soul. I don't know about you, but I find these words convicting myself. And, I'm, and I can only imagine that they were for David as well. He probably sang this psalm over and over again many times just to remind himself to always be thankful for what Jehovah has done in his life and the many blessings that he brought to him and to his kingdom. We need those reminders. We live in a country today where people want to describe how bad it is in our country, how, how bad the United States is for the world. Have any of those people ever stopped to think about how good life is here compared to many of the undeveloped countries of the world? I was in a meeting a few days ago and Pastor Adam brought up a really good comment. 
He said, if you only had what you were thankful to God for yesterday, or what you thanked Him for yesterday, what would you have today? Ouch. How many things do I take for granted in my life? How many things do I enjoy and factor into the way I live and the decisions that I make and the words that I speak that I, I mean, these things that we've just read that affect so many things in the way I make decisions in my life and the confidence that I have in, in what He is doing in and through and for me. But I don't actually stop and praise Him for those things. I don't stop and thank Him for those things. That ought to be happening on a daily basis, and I am guilty of not doing that. I want to do it more. I want to be thankful for the loving kindness that He pours on me and on the people that I care about. Uh, I'm spending the weekend with a grandson, and I adore every moment that I have with him because I don't get to see him near often enough. And to think that the Lord is bringing blessings on my children's children is impactful to me. I hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving weekend with family. I hope even more that you're spending time in prayer and in the Word and thankful as the weekend is intended to be for the many blessings that God has brought upon us as believers and upon our country just because He's that good. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so deeply. We, uh, we confess to you that we are not near thankful enough. We, we don't even have the mental ca capacity to grasp all the things that you do for us, all the, the consistent care that you pour on us, all the things that you get out of the way for us so that we don't get hurt. And, and we find it so difficult that when the, the trail gets steep, to know that, uh, that you've let it be that way for our own development, for our own good, and that we need to be thankful for that too. Father, just give us thankful hearts, just overpouring with thankfulness and praise for you and for your wisdom and for your care and for your promises and for your thankfulness. And Father, we give all this glory to you in the name of our King and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, and always remember, church family, no matter what happens, praise Jehovah's holy name. Thank you for joining us for Wisdom in the Word. If you're looking for additional resources to help strengthen your walk with Jesus Christ, visit bfcsebring.com or download our mobile app.